Hi guys, it's uh, Terry from the PGSC, and um, I thought I'd go through uh, the Dragon Link deck with you. It's been something that I've been toying around with for a while, and before lockdown it was a deck that I tried to uh, play competitively, and I've put in quite a few hours with it on DB, and I just want to show you my take on it, maybe show you some combos, maybe go over a bit of the little strengths and weaknesses of the deck. Uh, so I guess we'll just get right into it. Right, so we'll get into it. I'm just going to sort of maybe speed through the deck at the start of this, and then I'll go back and go through the cards in a bit more detail. Uh, so we play the three Star Leech Safer, uh, the three Black Metal Dragons, the three Rocket Tracers, followed by the other rockets being one Magna Rocket, one Silver Rocket, one Rocket Recharger, and one Rocket Synchron. We play two Absarata Dragon. Two Noctivision, uh, sorry, three Noctivision Dragons. Uh, we play the one uh, White Dragon Wiper Burster, one Black Dragon Clap Serpent. We play the one uh, Red Rose and two White Rose Dragons, one Dragon Knight Phalanx, one uh, just Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, Buster Lock, Buster for the Buster Lock, uh, Omni Dragon Brotar, one Hibernation Dragon, one Seravis the uh, Ancient Ascended, uh, one. Chaos Le Dragon Levineer and one Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon for that's it for the monsters. So I'll just put the shuffle them off to the side. Professional. Um, and for spells, you play Triple Chaos Space, Triple Quick Launch, Triple uh, World Legacy Guard Dragon, Double Boot Sector Launch, One Dragon Ravine, One Dragonity Divine Lance, One One for One, One Monster Reborn. Uh, two Cosmic Cyclones and two Forbidden Chalices. So that's it for the uh, main deck. Uh, for the extra deck, we play the two Striker Dragons followed by the Guard Dragon LP and Pisty, and the last Link one being the Link Cross. For Link twos, we play Crystron Halka Fibrax, Delindrous Dragon, Dragonite Knight Romulus, Heretic Seal, uh, Protector Whelp, Union Carrier. For our Link 4, we play Bull Sword. And for the Synchros, we play one Metal Marcher, one uh, Herald of the Arc Light, and one Warlord Savage Dragon. And just going into our side deck, so I might as well show it while we're going. We play the three Driver and the. Uh, sorry, three Gamma and the one Driver. Please don't play three uh, Driver, one Gamma. That would be pretty bad. Uh, we play the two Radiant, the one Artifact Lancia. The one uh, Dinoresser Pankertops, the one Arch Nemesis Ashatos, one Reprodocus, one Unchained Abomination, uh, triple Dark Ruler No More, and one Red Reboot. And that would round out that bit. So we'll just cut to the deck again and we'll go over things in a bit more detail. Yeah, so I guess we're going to start off with the uh, three Saferts. This is one of your um, one of your main uh, one of your two sort of normal ones in the deck. Um, safer is pretty much you can send dragons from your hand or your um, field to add a dra to add a dragon with the same level like the same amount of levels. So if you say you send a level four, you get a level four. Send a seven, get a seven. That kind of thing. Uh, also, its second effect, which is pretty useful, is you can banish it from your graveyard to target one level 8 light or dark dragon in your graveyard and add it back to your hand. Uh, you typically use this to add back your Levineer, or sometimes you can also do your Borlode Savage Dragon in the grind game just to hopefully get a bit more use out of it. Um, so it's a pretty important card, and that's why we play it at 3. Um, then your other sort of normal summon slash start of the deck is uh, the triple Black Metal Dragon. Uh, Black Metal is pretty simple. Uh, when it's sent to, from the field to the graveyard you can add one red eyes uh, card from your deck to your hand so typically you will link this off into your striker dragon it's effect trigger to get the um red eyes darkest middle dragon uh, then you banish striker especially some of this back and typically that's your start your combo from there um it, another thing to note would be if you were to play things like the um say dragoon package uh you can use this as well to help chain blocks or things like your Romulus because you can search the red eyes that you're playing for uh, Dragoon off of it the second time, which is quite nice. Just something to know. Uh, so we'll move those across. Uh, moving on to our rocket package, you play uh, Triple Rocket Tracer. It is quite honestly one of the best rockets. It's a quick effect to target any face-up card you control, destroy it. And then special summon a rocket from your deck. You can only special summon dark monsters from your extra deck for the rest of the turn, which 
sometimes can be a bit irritating, but most times you work around it. Um, this is typically a card you want to see in your opening hand to help with the combos. This is how you, how you get to your Savage Dragon, typically. Um, the fact that it's also a tuner as well is pretty is pretty useful for the Hulk combos as well. So, um, we then would play the uh, one Rocket Recharger. Uh, rocket Recharger is probably the second best rocket, just by its effect. So if a dark uh, monster that was special for your extra deck is destroyed, uh, you can send it from your hand or field to the graveyard. Target one, target that one of those destroyed dark monsters, then special summon a dark monster with a different name from your graveyard, which is honestly pre pretty good. Like, is the amount of times like you can come back from this by just summoning this, turn it into striker, strike your target itself to add this back, send it, and target anything in your grave. I brought back like after getting the beard, I brought back a Boral Sword and was swung in for game. You can bring back the Red MD to get your plays going. It's a very useful card, and if you wanted to bump it up to like say two, I wouldn't blame you. Um, and then we just play the sort of the utility rockets of Magna Rocket, uh, Silver Rocket, and Rocket Synchron. Uh, Magna Rocket, uh, if it's targeted by a Link Monster effect, you can send one monster to the uh, graveyard non-targeting, uh, which is pretty useful. Um, this is a way you can out Dragoon, because it doesn't target, obviously. Um, we play the Silver uh, Rocket, which if it's targeted by a Link Monster, destroy it, and you can then... Um, Banish a card from your opponent's extra deck, which is again pretty useful just to get that bit of knowledge. Or if you're like saying, if you're playing against a matchup and you know they specifically need uh, that one extra deck monster, is pretty good. Um, and the Rocket Synchron um, is just sort of here more as a health target, but its effect can come up. So when it's normal summon, you can target one level seven or higher Dark Dragon Monster Graveyard, special summon it. And if you do, you can only special summon Dark Monster for the extra for the rest of the turn. So that effect could come up, say, to bring back one of your Abs Routers or um, the Knock Division to Graveyard just to get the free material for a Link 2, a Dark Link 2, or for making, like, say, the Savage Dragon if you've not already gone into it. Um, um, we play the uh, double Abs Router and the triple uh, Knock Division. So these guys typically act as our extenders. Um, so Abs Router, if you control a rocket, you can just special summon for free, which is pretty nice as well. Um, if it's sent to the graveyard in any way, you can add one rocket from your deck to your hand. So that's pretty useful. Uh, typically, you want to pair this with Chaos Space. That is pretty much the best opening of the deck you can have. Um, not much else to say about it. I'm only playing two at the moment because while it is very nice, you do need a rocket for it to be really effective. Um, whereas, say, with Noctovision, uh, Noctovision has um, quite a few effects. So, for its first effect, which is sometimes irrelevant, sometimes nice, is that if your opponent targets a, a set, set card that you have, uh, while well, this is in your graveyard, you can banish it, negate that activation, and then your opponent can't target that set card for the rest of the turn. So if you have any port back row, it helps protect against that. Um, its other effect is when a dark dragon monster is special summoned, you can special summon this from your hand. Uh, so typically, you typically do this when you make your Striker Dragon, uh, you Striker 1, Nocto 2 to help chain block it, and then uh, when it's used as a Link Material, you can draw one card. Again, it's pretty useful just to get that card, and you can use it to chain block things like your um, your um, Dragon DD Knight Romulus. It's a really good card, and we play three of it because you're much more likely to special summon, randomly special summon a Dark Dragon monster. It's pretty much the initial thing you do with all of your combos. Um, we play the Rose package for our sort of um, Hulk side of things. So we play the one Red Rose and the two White Rose. Um, this is what you summon off your Hulk Fibrax. Um, uh, it's just a nice tuner. And when it's used as Sync Material, you can special summon a, another Rose Dragon from your deck. In this case, it's White Rose. Um, White Rose is, well, A, it's here to be summoned off this, but it also can be a good extender if you open it with any Dragon Tuner. Because if you control a Dragon Tuner, you can reveal it, special summon it. It's a pretty useful card, um, and that's currently why we play two of it. And we play the white and black dragon. Not much to say there. They're just ex they're just nice extenders and searchable to off chaos space, so it's they're pretty good and safer and safer as well. Yeah, so that's our, yeah, that's very correct. So typically, if you open safer, this is how you also do your uh, combo because this equals well two dragons on board. Yeah, so the combo relies on getting. Two dragons on board, so say Firk can search Black Dragon, uh, Black Dragon makes Striker, searches the white, and then white can summon itself. Yeah. 
much. Um, now we go on to a rather large series of one ofs. Uh, so we got the one rotor, the one phalanx, the one hibernation dragon, uh, the one uh, dragon buster, the one Cerevis, just move these over a little bit more, uh, the one Levineer, and the one darkness metal. Darkness metal, it's part of the uh, black metal package, and even if it wasn't, it's pretty nuts. Even if it's just raw, you can still bring back a dragon from your hand or grave. It's just a pretty decent card. Rotar, just again, nice utility. It's off, you, you nine times out of ten are going to be summoning this off the uh, LP in the combo, just to search whatever you need, whether it be the Tracer or the, maybe you might want to go for the Levineer to get your card in hand. It's just pretty useful. Phalanx is just here part of the, um, d like, Dragoonity side of things. It's part for the Divine Lance, just for any requirement. Uh, here for the Buster Lock, I guess, and uh, Levineer is just utility. It can destroy cards, it can take a card out of your opponent's hand, or it can bring back a monster for, from your graveyard in defense position, depending on what you banish. It's a nice utility, and I probably wouldn't take it out of the deck. Um, I guess I'll try to talk a bit more about these two, because I imagine there's not a lot of people in, who play this in Dragon Link. Um, so Hibernation Dragon is a pretty cool card. Um, so if it's normal or special summon, you can target one level 4 lower dragon in your uh, graveyard and add it back to your hand, so it's nice to recur. So some, uh, so ideally, I would either send it off the Dragon Ravine, as if I had open in hand, to get like the abs router to make sure it's there, and then you can bring it back off the um, Pisty. You can also bring it off Elf from the deck, just get back a resource to your hand. Or if you can be an alternative target to summon off the Heratic Spheres once you use its effect, um, but the other reason why I play it is its second effect, which is if it's in uh, if it's in the graveyard except the turn it was sent to graveyard, and you control no link monsters, you can banish it from your grave to target any dark dragon link monster in your graveyard and bring it back, which has come up for me quite a few times. Just bringing back an LP or a Pisty once you can set up the arrows, or bringing back in some cases like a Boral Sword is just pretty nice for that. Pretty nice. And then the other thing that I occasionally like to do with this, just because of the nice little loop you can do, is like you can, if you bring back the Pisty, um, and you can get a way to set up the arrows. You can then target the hibernation dragon that you've banished to bring back the Pisty for Pisty to get a nice little loop going that way, so you can always have it in rotation. Uh, it's been a nice tech, and I've quite enjoyed playing it. And the Cerevis is well here is just it helps against targeting you know things like with things like um, Valor and Imperm going around. Uh, you probably want have protection. It was also that when I was playing Chaos Space, I often found that I once I drew Chaos Space past turn one, it was dead because I didn't have another light target, and this just happened to fill the criteria, and it's pretty useful. And also, alternatively, if you don't use it for Chaos Space, um, the Herald of the Arc Light, when it's used if, when it's sent from the field to the grave, you also sent to grave, you can add add this off it to add another layer of protection to your board. Um, so I I really enjoyed it, and it has come in clutch a couple of times. And that's what for the monsters. Um, going back through the spells, uh, going through Triple Chaos Space. It is a good card. I mean, this discarding any like dark or light dragon gets you into your combo basically because you'll grab the white or the black depending on what you discard. It's just really nice searchability. It's basically a pseudo starter as long as you've opened anything to discard with it. Um, and the sort of being able to uh, banish it to put back a banished light or dark monster that can't be normal sort of from your. Um, Banish zone is pretty nice. You'll normally you would use it to do the white and put back like either the white or black depending on which way you went around. You can also do it if you've banished say like your striker dragons or any of your extra deck monsters that are light or dark off the levy near. You can use this to put those back. It just has to get your a bit more resources back in your extra deck because typically this the combo is pretty extra deck intensive. It normally leaves us with what like two cards left in the extra one, one, one or two, two cards. Yeah. So it's a really good card. Um, Triple quick launch. It's e Telly for dragons. That's not what's return. It's a pretty good extender. Um, also, there's a weird thing I feel like as I'd ever say this, but I feel you should never... If you see your opponent activate quick launch as the first thing they do, I probably wouldn't ash the quick launch because it's not a hard one to return. It, it's an easy bait, and if you're not committed to normal summon yet, it's still something that just doesn't seem worth it. I would always kind of wait. 
Um, three more Legacy Guard Dragon. Again, just brings back your level four lower dragon. Helps extend your plays. Helps set up the Guard Dragon arrows. You, you play three of it because you want to see it. It's just a nice another useful extender. Yeah, because that and any normal summonable dragon is full combo. Combo as well, yeah. Um, plus later, if you draw it, it's still yeah. Know. It's just a nice extender, or it can get you back into the game. Uh, also, to make note of this, because it happened in one of our games. Uh, you don't have to special summon the card. You can just add it back to hand. As a guy got really annoyed at me when I added back the white dragon I discarded off like Ravine or something going, I couldn't do it. But it's nice to know because sometimes those interactions may come up and might be important. Or I think there was one game where I got rid of the, was it the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword to then get it back off of this? Yeah, so that you can buster, buster lock. lock them just to ensure. So it's just nice to know for those nice little interactions. And now for the thing that I probably will get well, not maybe the most hate for, but it's just thing of playing uh, the double boot sector. I'll give you a lot of hate for this. I play the double boot sector launch as well, and I always <laughs> open to. Yes. Yeah, so when you don't open two of them, right? It's 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 not bad. I I know that most people play one, and I do get it. But like I since I played Rocket since it like initially came out, and boot sector is is your lifeline. It is such a good card. It's just. A free special summon up to two from your hand, or if you're in a losing position and your opponent has all the, like a lot of monsters out, you wall can up. you can wall up. <laughs> you can wall up if you best want to pro uh, prolong the game, but just bringing back like any like any number of rockets, just basically a soul charge when you're when you really need it is really good. I play two because one, no one really expects you to play two, which is a weird one thing to say, but it's just nice to have that initial follow up. Just oh, if you top deck a dragon that you can make into striker you can probably get back into it and also that again because it's that good i do want to have a second copy because nine times out of ten unless you've say opened really well or like have something like the guard dragon on field you're ending up popping this with your tracer to get up the other rocket you need to make your savage it's just a really good card and i personally just feel like two is a, a good number at least for me try it out see what you feel and then you know tell me that i'm wrong in the comments after you after you draw it like five times in a row um, and the Dragon Ravine, it's just, um, a nice card, it's searchable off, uh, uh, Romulus. It's not typically the card you actually search off Romulus most times, but it's nice to have the second target. And just getting a, because there's very few dragons you actively want to dump in your grave, like, mid-combo, but for certain situations it will come up. Yeah, typically the only time I'll really use it is if I've already opened the Divine Lands. It means I can, uh, send the Abtra out to get the Tracer, and it means I have that for the... Savage at the end of the combo. Yeah, I think I've used it in maybe or hibernation. Dragon. Yeah, or hibernation, or in I think I've usually used it in one game where I just needed to like I would discard any dragon to get the um, levy near something engraved if I couldn't get to it, if I didn't get to it mid combo, and then I can like if I use safer just get it back and then go from there. So it's nice and useful. Uh, one for one, just to get out. Well, your level one dragons mainly black metal is just another sort of pseudo starter. Um, the divine lands just an engine requirement gets you the um, phalanx from your uh, deck equipped to your Romulus, and that's how you start off most of your plays. But most important because it's an extender. Uh, two cosmics because I you will you will just end up losing to like a random floodgate or mystic mine, and if having, and I know that like there's always game two or game three, but if I can win game one. By just hopefully drawing into these, we'd, I'd rather have it. Uh, shout out to Tamani, who lost, I think it was five games in a row, because I uh, I opened Cosmic against him playing Zombie World. Yes, that would have... You see, without those Cosmics, that might have been a slightly more awkward game. Uh, also, for because the Buster Lock is running around, which is normally protected by, like, you know, five or six negates, let's be real, but it's just nice to have the option of possibly outing it, really. Um, and then, or if you dark ruler, yeah, and you have that, the, that you can probably go off. Uh, then uh, two forbidden chalice because it's just effect negation. These would be imperms. We do have them. It's just I had these off ha on hand, and they're also pretty much cheaper than impermanences. There, it's not like it has much more use, probably more during your turn, during your turn than impermanence does, like on your opponents and things like that. But it is pretty nice. It can be activated during the damage step as well, which is might come up um but yeah that's pretty much it for... they should be impairs yes but they should be impairs but we we believe boys like i i bought impermanences because i realized that i now have money which is slowly going away because i bought impermanences so maybe you can always try those out 
Uh, right. Guard, uh, extra deck. This is all fairly standard. Yeah, striker. Gets your boot sector, gets your plays going, and its effect can come up to add back a rocket. The reason you play the second is there's two ways to sort of fulfill the combo. Uh, one uses the second striker dragon, one uses the Delindrous dragon. It just depends whether you've opened the Levian or, or Tracer. Uh, so we can... I, I assume we're doing a combo. Yeah, we'll be so doing a combo. We can we, we, when we get to this part, we can explain it in more detail, but the second strike of Dragon is, I, I'd say, mandatory. Yeah, like, in an ideal world, I'd actually want to play three of it, yeah. because it's just that good. Because if you have to use the second one for the combo, it really hurts your grind later on. Um, but right now, the extra deck space is a bit tight, so we have two we'll have to do for now. Star Dragons. If you don't know what these do... I don't know where you've been. Uh, summons from deck, summons from Banisher Graveyard. Or hand. Or hand. But if you're summoning from hand really sucks though. Uh, Link Ross. We all know what Link Ross is for. Halk. was part of the format. Delindrous. Uh, some people don't play him anymore. But he's just nice for cleaning up when you do your guard dragon combos and you need to summon things that aren't dragons. And also link claiming into your barrel sword when yeah. when your board has been absolutely decimated. Yes, because keep because typically I make that typically you'll make this as part of your guard dragon combo. It'll just sit in your graveyard after you do the full combo. And if your board gets decimated, all you need to do is summon a rocket, and it comes back out free. And it's just that much closer to getting the barrel sword, which will hopefully seize the game for you. Um, I'm quite happy that I play it. The only other card I'd currently consider putting in for it would be the Quad Boral Dragon, which I don't have to hand, but it's a pretty useful card. It's just, um, you can target one uh, monster field, destroy it, and if it was a, mo a Link monster, you can special some rocks from graveyard up to that Link rating. It's just added utility at that point, but so far, Delindris is slightly better for the com it's just better for the combo. Quad Boral does sound amazing, but Terrence has forgotten a very important condition of that. Oh, you also can't special summon like Link 2s or lowers for the rest of your turn but you're uh, it's, uh, it's, yeah it's a, so you're not going to go combo after that but you can at least yeah, uh, yeah. you know make big boys big boys at least, well you can't special them from your extra deck if you can get the back from your grave then yeah, yeah but it's sort of thing uh romulus he's one of your main combo pieces uh he gets you your divine lance um yeah or, 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 or ravine so he's part of that also, his other effect may come up, where if a monster is special summoned from a dragon monster is special summoned from the extra deck to his own, it points to you can special summon a dragon or wing beast from your hand. Well, it's only the dragons, uh, but it can't be used as link material. But this is ways if you really needed to, like if you say you drew the phalanx and you really need to, or you drew a handful of tuners that you need to get off. If you can get like a striker dragon on board or some uh, any monster dragon monster from your extra deck to that zone, you can get it out of your hand and hopefully combo off from there. It just might come up, so might as well bring it up. Uh, Heretic Seal, just something you end your board on. It's just a nice bit of interruption and a bit of recursion for you to help you get back in the game by summoning anything from your deck as well. Typically, uh, Brotar if you've not used it, or Abdrater. Brotar, or Hibernation. Abdru, Hibernation, Safer. There's quite a few options, and it's more to tailored to maybe what you have in your graveyard, your hand, that kind of thing. And also, just again, it's a weird one because I've had someone complain to me for this. Because I, you can also bound your own cards with this, because that might be useful at some point. Uh, like, I've used it to put back the... Uh, I've, the two things I've done normally is I would... Uh, I'd put back, like, the health that's equipped to Savage, just to, so I can have another monster my extra deck if I didn't... If I didn't really need anything else, or didn't feel like anything on my opponent's board was threatening me. Um, I've put back the... You can put back a Royal Legacy Guard Dragon to use again for your next turn. There's just quite a bit of utility, just what you can do with this. Uh, Protector Well, it is literally here because it requires two monsters to make, and it is a dragon. Yeah, so this is to clear out your Hulk Fibrax, uh, and just have two useful Some things. Or if you get Nibiru, and you can still possibly combo off as long as you, if you just need a dragon or thing to make Link Arrows. And actually, to be fair, for one combo that I'm going to show you, which is partly involves my side deck, it is actually important that this is a light dragon. So, I'll show you that. But, uh, Union Carrier mainly here for the Buster Lock, pretty much mainly, but you can just, after like that turn, you can start just equipping things like Black Metal if you haven't seen the Red MD, or Safer if you need to get it in Grave, or Abs Router, or just anything you need. And Boral Sword is, your, is a big beat stick boy that wins you the game. Uh, no real need to explain these, because it's just part of the combo. 
interruption and an interruption you can make. And then, but the very small thing I will uh, note about this is that Savage's effect to equip and put counters on itself isn't actually a hard once per turn. So if you get Nibiru and or it the opponent clears it somehow and you can get it back and back out, get it back into your extra deck and back out again, typically through safer and other complicated means, you can just summon it again, which has come up in some games. It's just really nice to know. Uh, so that's that, and I guess why not? Why not go through the side deck, kinda? Uh, so there is one, two, three. Uh, the gamma, the driver. Because it's gamma. Yes, pretty much. Yeah. It's because it's gamma. It's the most impactful hand trap. Um, I t I only signed in going second. But some people are maining it, which I just, I, I get it. But equally, like, I don't feel... Like I'd, if we capitalized more or had more moments where we could bait, like, a hand trap with, and then Gamma, it'd be fine. But nine times out of ten, you, it'd be maybe, like, on your safer if your opponent chooses to Ash you or something. Yeah, but, so you can use it on your safer for, Chaos you know, Space. Uh, um, quick Launch if you need it. Yeah. If you had to use the Ravine. Or One for One. And, I, and those are, like, interesting moments. But I just sort of feel like if you understand how Dragon Link works... Or you knew that I feel you'd reserve your hand traps for other moments. I feel people would probably yeah. try to play around the gamma, but it's still nice to have uh, sighted. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, kaijus, because, you know, there's a kaiju for that. Just gets rid of any clear problems. The reason why it's radiant is if for some. I mean, actually, it doesn't really have to be radiant, I realize, because I realize I Tracer only locks you out from darks from um, the extra deck. But you know what? He's cool looking. He's my favorite. He's one of my favorite ones. So I mean, you could have gone with it. You could have said it was a chaos space. You know, you could use it for chaos space. Or I mean, you, well, you could also set it up. Okay. It's something you can buy for Levy. You know, you had so many things you could have said nope, there. No, nope, no, it's cool. Brad, you see, Brad knows what's actually going on. I pick my kaiju's based on aesthetic. He he, he played like, uh, but yes, you could also do those useful things. It could be sent off chaos space and banish for Levy uh, But mainly, he's cool. He's cool. <laughs> Uh, so we have the one, uh, Lancia, because for matchups where it's really important, you can just, uh, Union Carrier it out by targeting Carrier. And then if you need it, you can either bounce it back to your hand with, um, the Heratic Seal, or if you have a Trace Route, you can just pop it and then trigger it that way. So it's just nice. Pangratops, because Pangratops is good. Um, the one Arch Nemesis Ashatos, uh... For those of you probably looking confused and going what what you're on, we will show you the combo, but Ashatos requires to summon it, just banish three monsters from your field or graveyard that are different types. Such as Linkross, Halka Fibrax, and any dragon. Yes. Yes, so So you... if you're going to do this combo that Terrence is going to show you, don't banish any of them. Yeah. Like yes, because I did that once and I and I, I was sad. Very sad. I actually considered, like, there's a moment where I was also playing, like, the Chaos Valkyria because it was a fairy, and that would have been useful too. But definitely don't banish those. But, yeah, um, it can declare a monster type on field, destroy it. Also, remember that conjunction, um, you're, uh, neither you or your opponent can special monster that type until the end of the next turn. So you'll see what's going on. And the other part of that combo is Reprodocus, and not necessarily part of, part of it, but you need something cooler to end on than the seal because you, it, the way you change it up. So I've chose Unchained Abomination. Uh, for those of you who, those of you, you, you can play Opelousa, I just prefer Unchained Abomination because like say... It looks killer. Well, yes, it does. <laughs> but also just, I, I like the fact that just basically you can get three destructions if you do this right. It's just, especially against say like, if you're playing a back row heavy deck and you're just setting against your board, you, you can probably do quite a few, like you can get a, quite a few pops going just getting rid of those resources. But, but yes, Brad's also correct. It looks cool. Uh, three Dark Ruler. I mean, yeah, yeah. combo. Yep, Dark Ruler. And Red Reboot because I hate back row decks. Um, yeah, so that's the deck profile. Um, we will probably just go through a couple of combos with you just to show you that. And then maybe have a little discussion at the end of other techs and just sort of the weaknesses of the deck, strengths, blah, blah, blah. blah. So I'll start to show you this again. So, we'll just, so since the combo is like pretty much the same just depending on your start we'll just show you the different ways you can get up to the same point and then what variation to go from there 
Um, so we'll start off first with our first starter being say safer. So you'll send the safer to get the black dragon. Bounce the safer to special summon the uh, collapse. Turn that and that into the striker. Striker one, black two, typically. Uh, getting you the white dragon and then the boot sector. Uh, you'll banish this uh, to special summon out the white. You'll turn these two into Romulus. Romulus will then get you the Divine Lance. You'll equip the Divine Lance. Divine Lance will then equip the Phalanx to Romulus. Phalanx will then activate its effect, special summon itself. You'll then do this, turn this into the Link Cross. Link Cross will then summon up two tokens. You'll then turn the Phalanx and one of the tokens into Metal Marcher. Metal Marcher will bring back this. The Phalanx, you'll turn the Link Cross and the Metal Marcher into Hulk. Uh, Hulk's effect will summon out the uh, Red Rose. You'll synchro with the Red Rose and one of the t remaining token into the Herald. And then you will then summon out off the Red Rose's effect the White Dragon. Um, so, th And this is the point where like all the combos will definitely lead up to and then there'll be slightly different variations. So I'll just run through this again just with the Black Metal and then uh, black metal and then show you sort of what the one card side has to do to get to the combo um, Well, actually like just to save real time. I basically You just it's basically it's just your place is safer with this. It still gets to the two dragons all that happens is you uh, Summon the black metal you turn the black metal into striker you still do the same thing but instead of you put one two getting the red MD and then you get the quick launch. You'll then banish the striker to summon out the red eyes darkest metal dragon, special summon back this, and then you turn to Romulus, and then the plays go from there. It's still the same, it's just getting the two dragons is all you need. Um, so I will just carry on showing what happens from here. Um, so for this, uh, this side of it, this is where I normally go <laughs> myself because I typically don't go this route, but for this time you would need to use your um, second. Uh, striker Dragon, so you'll turn the Phalanx first into the LP, and then you turn the uh, White Rose into no, no. to the bottom, I think. Let's check. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know why you used the second one. There. No. Sorry, I got Sorry, it. I had it. All right. Uh, into the Striker Dragon. Um, so you'll then use uh, LP's effect to get out your. Uh, Omni Dragon Brotor, and Brotor's effect will activate. Typically, for this side of it, if you've not since you've not opened with the tracer, you want to get access to it. So you would just discard a card to get the tracer. You then turn this and this into your not that sorry the uh, protector well, and then you turn this into your. Uh, Pisty. Pisty's effect will get back anything. We'll just get back the secret. And then you turn uh, this and this into your heretic seal. And then what you do now is to get to, you want to turn these two into your union carrier. You'll activate boot sector, uh, boot sector's effect to special summon out your uh, tracer, tracer effect, target this to destroy it, to special summon out any rocket. Typically you want recharger because recharger is the ideal one to go into, well ideally get into grave assuming you had your second striker dragon, not in this case but I normally pick this. Um, and then you synchro into your savage, I'll probably go here, into anything but I guess for the purpose of this you would then get your health. And then you'd Union Carrier target your Savage Dragon to equip the Buster Sword, and that is your pretty much full combo. This is what you're trying to end on pretty much all the time. Um, so now we have one safer and a discard. Yes. Uh, one safer and a discard, one black metal and a discard. So this is your bread and butter. This is what you're trying to get to pretty much every time, and this is pretty consistent. I mean, it's one of the best things. Um, and now we'll just show you the slightly better variation, which is um, Chaos Space 
abs router just because that variation gets you the uh, tracer so then you can search off something else instead of it so we've now reset it to show you basically the, which is probably the most optimal opening of chaos space and abs router because it gets you to the tracer plus you also get another couple of cards back in hand through the chaos space itself and get chaos space itself so it pretty much gives you your, your discard fodder um, so you'll use Chaos Space to send the Abs Router to get the White Dragon, and then Abs Router will trigger getting you the Rocket Tracer. You'll banish Abs to summon out the White Dragon, link it off into Striker 1, 2. So getting your Black and getting your Boot Sector. You'll then banish the White to summon the Black. You'll then use Chaos Space. Uh, to banish it to put the white at the bottom of your deck and then get an additional random draw that it should not be that <laughs> yes all, the, putting things in black sleeves really wears me out all black sleeves wears me out uh, we do this to then go into the Romulus ROM 1 2 getting yourself the white and then getting yourself a Divine Lance again this looks pretty similar because it pretty much is Divine Lance Phalanx Special Summon this link cross, uh, two tokens, token miss, metal marcher, bring this back, these two into help, help, get you the red rose, red rose on the token, into herald, uh, red rose effect gets you the white, and then instead of making the striker and the LP, you just make LB Pisty, LB's effect, summon out the Rotor, and since you already have the um, Tracer, you can get anything, to, but we're going to search for the Levineer, uh, so we'll get it to target either of these two. Um, normally, well, you normally get it to do that in case of Ghost Ogre, but currently your Herald is protecting against that, um, but also remember that the card you discard if it's a monster will get banished, since we've not really... We, we don't really need this, so we'll just do this, and we'll get the uh, Levineer, uh, this and this, into your Protector Well. Uh, again, bring back anything, but why not just get this back. Uh, turn this and this into your Heretic Seal. Turn this and this into your Dillinger's Dragon. You'll then levy near, ideally for three darks, picking pretty much whatever you want. Um, I'll just pick white. Uh, but, and actually, I'll probably pick the other striker dragon in case we get another chaos space into the grave. So we can put that back, just to be nice to have. Take a card out of your opponent's hand. Uh, you turn this and this into your union carrier. Uh... Activate boot, effect special, effect target, destroy this, special on this, again, savage, getting back this for two counters, and then this target this to go for this. It pretty much is the same board, although you get to go for the levy and you have to take a card out of your hand, which is just pretty useful. Um, yeah, so that's... And you end up plus one. Yeah, you mm -hmm. end up plus one because of the sort of chaos space route. So that's always pretty useful. Um, and then I guess the sort of last thing we'll show you is the sort of thing with my sort of side deck engine of the Ashatos and things. So we'll just get that set up. Right, so we're going to hopefully show uh, the um, Ashatos thing. Uh, hopefully I should be able to do it since I made it, I created it. But I swear to you, at uh, one uh, uh, Hobby League, I, I couldn't do it to save my life. So let's hold on. Uh, so we'll start with Chaos Space Abs Router, because again, it's the most optimal thing. Uh, same as normal, send abs, get white, abs gets this, vanish, special white, striker, one, two, getting, well, sorry, two, one, one. two, one, why not? Uh, get your, but you get those two, vanish, uh, special, Chaos Space, bottom, get random blank. These two Romulus, so black and get this 
divine lance. Divine lance gets phalanx, or phalanx. Ring cross and the two tokens. This. This into Little Archer going up. Ah, this all looks so similar, doesn't it? Yeah, you said you invented this, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. No, this, the, yeah, this, but you've seen, you've seen this bit. You've seen this bit. This gets out. This, these two. Invent is a strong word. Adapted. Adapt. We've adapted something. Uh, Herald to the, uh, then the Red Rose gets this out. You've spaced it up. Just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you then uh, summon out the Protor, and in the greatest feeling of why am I doing this, so I will not activate the Protor here, which makes me slightly sad, but you, you kind of need to do it to make, you need to use it, uh, bring it back with Pisty. If you have this engraved already, sure, you can summon it, whatever else you want, then do it again, but you just need to turn this and this into the uh, Protector. Into the protector well, then Pisty bring back this, then Brotor will send anything to target this to add the Ashatos. Right, you then turn this and this into uh, Dillinger's. You then turn this and this into Reperdakis. You then need to banish any dragon, so we'll go with this. The either the Hulk or the Metal Marcher for your machine target, and then the Link Cross, some of the Shatos. Uh, Reperdakis, call literally any monster type you want. Preferably uh, one that your opponent's playing heavily. Yeah, preferably. I've uh, Infernal Blight Warrior, Adamantipated Rock, whatever you feel. Uh, any. Dogmatica uh, invoked spellcaster. Yeah. Um, Tamani, zombies. zombie. Yeah, you can pick whatever you need. Ideally, this is what you side into game two or game three because you know what your opponent's playing. You then activate a Shatus effect. Um, it's now whatever that type is. It can't be destroyed by card effects or remains on board, but um, but it's a since it's clauses also neither of you can special summon whatever that type is. You see, and then what you're then going to do is turn this and oof, this is actually where it becomes slightly awkward. But they're locked out, so why not? I don't, I don't, I don't really care anymore. You can summon out the uh, Shatos, uh, activate this effect to special summon the Tracer, uh, Tracer effect target this, to destroy this, to then get out this, do this. And you're going to end on the Savage, and Savage going in to... Well, I guess in this case you're going to pick the Romus because you banished the Mutt thing, but you still get two counters on it. And this is where you end with two Negates, a uh, free pop during your opponent's turn, but during the end phase anyway, and just a big boy. And uh, the Ashatos, locking your opponent out of whatever type. And you can just continue to sleep, like keep this on board as a big beat stick, which is quite nice. Um, if you had one other, if you had one other extender, or say a light, which is quite nice, you could then turn this into the Union Carrier and do that. But um, yeah, or if your opponent's silly enough to just normal summon, you can then just Ishathos again. Yes. Try their things. Yes, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Because it has to declare a type, type on, on the field. field. But it's really cool, and then it also because of that. If they do that again, you can do that. You then trigger your abomination anyway, which is always nice. Um, so this is just a nice, cute little way to hopefully secure a game two or a game three. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for that side of things. I pr think we've gone through basically a basic combos and this whatever combo. Um, yeah, I guess we'd probably just end up with like another just a quick like face cam thing talking about the strengths of the deck, weakness yeah. of the deck. Right, so thanks for going through this uh, video with us. Um, I really enjoyed playing Dragon Link. While the combos itself, the main combo is pretty linear, you have so much utility. Um, you can do quite a few bits with it. it it's, it's the main advantage is it's it's like one or two card starters, literally 
any two dragons on board pretty much guarantees you going through it. Um, it's one of the few uh, one of the decks I like that you can you probably do like the Buster Law plus end with Herald and Savage, which is pretty nice, especially since Adam Spader got hit. Um, I guess some of the weak points to talk about, or I guess some of the moments you can go for. Um, you are you pretty much you kind of do lose to certain things, but mainly I'd say things like like sort of either being floodgated out or things that change types from dragons. The biggest weakness is that you're playing nothing but dragons, really. Yeah, so playing against Zombie World, if they do keep the Zombie World on field, you do struggle to make any of your links because most of your plays rely on making Strike Dragon or Romulus, which require dragons. Or, or wing, uh, wing Beast, but that's, again, irrelevant. Um, things like there can be only one could be a bit awkward. Things like Summer Limit. You, you are really fully committing into this. Um, and then, I guess, the three main sort of weak points of the deck in terms of art would be like what one choke point could be the striker dragon depending if you depending on their hand that's probably the weakest choke point to hit because typically you'll have a more extenders and things going on uh i'd say the second one is romulus pretty much if you want to probably use a hand trap you probably want to use it on romulus because that gets pretty much most of the engine started the hulk side started so you need to have a bit more a few more extenders um and then hulk itself obviously also being a choke point the other one would be LP, which is if you go into that stage, um, they can still do things, but getting the free summon from deck to then get the levy to get the bro tour, which can get pretty much anything else you might need from your deck. That's another point you can hit. Um, so ideally, you probably want to aim for those four points. Um, another thing would be, assuming your opponent keeps the boot sector, you want to get rid of that pretty much as soon as possible because that's one of the ways they can get back into the game. Just because I've had situations where someone's let, like, someone's let me have that on field. I've just thrown what's left in my hand or like sort of grave resources, like say for getting back levy near at them, spare them the gates and then summon back like two to three rockets plus the Dill Dillinger stuff out in graveyard just to go back and uh, swing the game in my favor. So it's another thing I would probably take note of. Um, but apart from, apart from that, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll hopefully be doing something similar to what Shamal has done, like uh, with Infernoble Knight with Dragon Link. I'll be working on that just to get some replays to show you a bit more about what the deck can do. Uh, I know this video has probably been very long, but hopefully it's been informative. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll get back to you with more content. Yeah, uh, I'll just give my last bit just to make the video a bit longer. Yeah. Um, so I came from playing Adam Spater to playing this. Uh, I preferred this over Adam Spater. There was less RNG, um, and one of the things I liked about this was once the things go to grave you can still utilize them whereas i felt without a man spader when things were in grave they were mostly just brought the dragon and fodder um but now out of man spader has been hit in the form of the jet synchro and the o line and the block dragon you know that's uh hit their combos really hard this deck's completely untouched so i'm looking forward to what uh what we come up with and what sort of the other people that will jump to this deck and go up with. so thanks please comment uh below what you thought of the deck and like, subscribe, all usual things, and we'll catch you next time. You'll always draw the second boot sector. Shut up! Shh, not a zombie channel.